I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, look, it's red on the red carpet, I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. <laughs> she gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay, well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind, it's one thing to achieve your dreams, but you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Hey, where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. Y you never know what could happen. Plus, it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet, good luck with your match tonight. Oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no, or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's gonna be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home. But keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand, but you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and will determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. Wait a second, what's he doing out here? Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, there's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing while I ask myself, 
over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring, or I don't have the right look, or I rub someone the wrong way. Or maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map, the Dusty Classic. Only problem is, I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the Dream. But they've never competed in the tournament named after the real Dream, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. Wait, are, are those handcuffs? Are you kidding me? Get this idiot out of the ring. No wonder no one wants to be his partner. Uh, this is certainly an unconventional way of doing things. He called out Velveteen Dream, and thankfully, here he comes. Yeah, hopefully to put an end to this mess. So, are you going to be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on his person. You never know when you might need it. If you want the Dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the Dream in a match later tonight. You got the Dream's attention, but let's see if you can keep it. That was certainly unexpected, but Velveteen Dream has made a career out of defying expectations. Look, I don't care how weird that was. At least Velveteen got the moron out of the ring. Well, let's get back to the previously scheduled match. What the heck was all that? Me riding my own coattail. Well, maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match. You got this. We apologize again for the delay in bringing you this number one contender match for Candice LeRae's NXT Women's Championship. Delay is a much nicer term than I would have used. You have to wonder if that interruption will throw either of these women off their game tonight. That's a valid question. But knowing the history they have with each other going back to last year's Mae Young Classic, I think both Red and Rhea will be more focused on the task at hand. And the DDT! Out on the apron! Oh, this oh. is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad! Nasty! The hardest part of the ring. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Three. Four. Neckbreaker. Ouch. 
Ouch. She's enduring some damage. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. In case you haven't noticed yet, Rhea Ripley loves to decimate her opponents. That's what she considers fun. That's what puts her in a good mood when she's in the ring. Some people are happy when it rains. Rhea Ripley's happy when it's raining opponents' body parts. Missile drop kick finds its mark. She's taking charge here. She's taking command of the situation. Vicious attack. She's looking a bit out of it here. Oh, what an uppercut. A high-risk maneuver in the work. Incoming. Diving knee drop. Straight punch. Boom, right in the button. She scores big with the counter. Oh, here we go. She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. really hitting her hard. She's not. Well, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. Rhea answers with a decisive big kick. All right, looks like that rocked Red. Red counters with a super kick. Both women are down. It's over! Hold on, both women's shoulders were on the map when the ref counted three! Oh, I saw two. Can we get some kind of official ruling on this? So, who's the number one contender? Uh, I don't think we have one. Well, obviously, Rhea Ripley and Red both believe they won and deserve the title opportunity. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens next. What else could go wrong tonight? Here on NXT, it's dream time! If you missed the opening moments of our broadcast tonight, Trey called out the Velveteen Dream, demanding he be his partner for the upcoming Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Yeah, but you left out the part where Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes. Luckily, Velveteen had a key here. That idiot would probably still be stuck in the ring. Oh, well, let's not forget what Velveteen Dream said. If Trey can defeat him, Velveteen will be his partner for the Dusty Classic. There's a lot riding on this match. Oh, this guy trades only here because his friend got him a job. There is no way he's going to beat Velveteen Dream. He is a fifth iron. Help me make sense of this decision. He must have had something big planned here. Connected on that. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. DDT. He's taking some good hit. Oh, shocking inside cradle. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Oh, my God. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Insulting. To the outside he goes. Try to create some separation here, Cole. Oh, look at that. Huge overhead belly to belly. Back in the ring again. Scoop slam. Oh, this is dangerous. All the way for the dream just barely got out of the way. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. Now that was athletic. Heading back up. Here we go. Down with force. 
As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance. And I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, firing it. NXT take it from Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Look at this! From the top rope! Diving clothesline! This match is brutality starting to show on him. He's getting beaten up out there, but staying strong. Oh, chip right in the gut. He's left wide open here. Close line. To elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, oh. mind you. And abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in. Pretty good. I guess not. Great reversal. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Ah, the Maker DDT. Super kick. Ouch. I saw that one coming. Trey setting up for a suplex, but Velveteen blocks it twice. <laughs> Velveteen Dream hits the neck breaker. Maybe you'll find a partner next year, pal. And now he's going to the top. This might put an end to Trey's hopes of competing in the Dusty Classic. Do it, Dream. Purple Rainmaker. Thankfully, this is all over. Come on, cover him. What's the hold up? Wait, what's Velveteen doing? No, no. He's telling the referee to count. Velveteen Dream is letting Trey win. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck is he thinking? Why would you do this? Maybe Velveteen wanted to be Trey's partner after all. Who knows with Velveteen, but that guess is as good as any. I can't believe it. This dream just turned into an absolute nightmare. Velveteen's confusing actions aside, you're looking at the newest team to enter the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Hey, I ran into Triple H earlier and assured him your stunt last week was just a one-time thing. You're lucky he thought it was good TV or you might be out of a job. Triple H thought I was entertaining? That's great! That's not exactly what I would have gotten out of that statement. Nonetheless, I'm happy you found someone to team with for the Dusty Classic, even if it's Velveteen Dream. What do you mean, even if? I just don't think he's the most trustworthy partner. But hopefully I'm wrong. He's too set on proving he's the real dream to pull anything on me. So don't worry, I'll be fine. But what about your big contract signing tonight? You have anything planned? Yeah. I'm gonna go out there and sign the contract. That's it? These things are all about playing mind games with your opponent to get an advantage in the match. Like, what if you brought your Mae Young Classic trophy to the ring with you? That would really get in Rhea's head. I appreciate the advice, but stunts like that are more your style. I'm gonna keep it professional. And predictable, but whatever. So what did Triple H say about last week being good TV? Did he like my promo or the handcuff move or just everything overall? You should focus on your match. I heard what you said last week about wanting to prove you belong in NXT. I respect that, but it's not going to come at our expense. No, sir. Not our expense, Tucky.
We came back to NXT for one reason, to win the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Back to win the whole enchilada! I actually watched your previous Dusty Classic matches to try to get an advantage, but there wasn't a lot to go on. You know, because you always lost in the first round. You went there, huh? He did go there. Sounds like he wants to fight. I'm just stating a fact. Then here's another one. Tonight, we're gonna destroy you. That's right, Ducky, cause we're coming! I let you win last week because the dream thought about what you said. And I want to prove that I am the real dream. That's all this is. You're just lucky to be along for the ride. Okay, fine. But now that we're partners, shouldn't we discuss strategy or something? Here's a strategy. Stay out of the dream's way. Here we go, folks, as we kick off this tag team match. And we're here in Orlando, a breeding ground for many of the WWE's top superstars, thanks to the Performance Center. Breeding ground for great commentators, too, and, and there's Saxton. I don't know how you got bread. Gets him with a counter. Right to the gut. Scoop slam. Wow! What elevation. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Shoulder tackle. Stomping down. Absolutely punishing. Just malicious. Insulting. Look at that. And Tucker evades that one. And scissors Ooh. take that. Oh, very nice. Tagged in. Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Valentine Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry, you just sound like an amateur commentator. He's in full control now. Looking to make a much needed tag here. And if successful, we may be looking at a whole new match here. Stop dead in his tracks. Oh, so close, Michael. No, oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. He is just reeling from that offense. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Corey, I agree with Byron's statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, why else wear all the frilled shirts and jeweled outfits? Hmm, why else? How about because he's a fashion icon? Anyway, the only thing that matters is what you do in the ring. And let me tell you, Velveteen Dream can do pretty much anything. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Nah, not yet. Too early. This could be dangerous. That brings a rush of blood to the head. Ah, oh, bear hug. Whoa, he, he works his way out. Striking blow. This tag team contest is underway. Both of these teams have been very game so far. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. 
When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Right the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Velveteen Dream delivering the full experience. Things are playing out exactly how he envisioned. Oh, this got out of there on time. What a punch! Boom! What impact! He's feeling the effects of that last hit. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. I don't think he wants to be in that corner, Byron. Yeah, but he's not moving, Michael. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent. If it's Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it's too close to call. But all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus, I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy, though, Michael. Oh, he's almost there. And his partner's just itching to get in the ring right now. And he gets to his partner. We've got to help. Looking for the quick cover. It's Otis. And he makes the save for his team. Dropped on the crown. Otis got out of there in time. A nice shot by Otis. Great match here, but if you miss any of the action from this week, just go to WWE's Facebook page, YouTube channel, Twitter, and more to get all caught up. Around the world on the WWE Network, WWE fans are glued to their sets watching this match. Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. A tag is vital at this point in the match. Heavy duty right hand. <laughs> Bringing it back into the ring. in this match. The one question is going to be who will capitalize on those moves the best? He caught him slipping. Waymaker DDT. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Flying. Purple Rainmaker. Meet him at the pay window. I don't know if Otis can recover. Drop kick. Great athleticism. to make a tag here. I don't know. It's going to be tough to make it to the corner. Oh, come on. He unloaded there. Oh, huge toss. How impressive was that reversal? And the Luthes press! Piston like Rice. Struggling to get to the corner here. Why not make it, Michael? Are we going to see the tag, Byron? I think so, Michael. I really do. And there's the tag. Snap mare. Aggression in the corner. Yeah.
Amateur takedown. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. Not the fall that hurts. It's the sudden stop at the end. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. He's getting closer, Corey. And look at his partner. He wants in in the worst way. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. It's running swan time. evades that one. Nice kick, okay, great elevation. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Oh, an elbow drop! Oh, it's a piercing elbow. This guy just refuses to quit. Wow. Whoa, not so fast. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. He can't allow himself to let up now. Spike into the ring apron. Incredible athleticism. He's trying again. Good night. Head to the pay window. That slam. Will he be victorious? What an amazing match and a huge victory. Nicely done. I knew these two were a great team. I just didn't know how great. Wow. They really impressed me out here. Yeah, you can bet they're going to be talking about this match for quite some time.